Hi everyone, it's Phil from Tech for Text. Today we're going to be looking at this Cooler Master CM310 RGB ambidextrous mouse as well as this Cooler Master CK550 full RGB gaming keyboard. First, here's a quick video from our sponsors. Okay, again, we're looking at this Cooler Master CK550 keyboard. It is full RGB, it's mechanical, and it's classed as a gaming keyboard. Um, you can see here it's got mechanical blue RGB switches on there. It says it's tactile clicking and so forth. First of all, CK, not everyone knows what these model numbers mean these days, especially since naming had gone out the door. Uh, but C basically stands for Core Series which isn't their, what they call, top-end one, the Master Series, it's their core. So that's for your, probably your average gamer and so forth, someone who doesn't want to go all the way out there. This is ideal for people who want a great value price performance ratio. So the K stands for, believe it or not, a keyboard. Uh, and then that's just the model uh, there. So otherwise, uh, it should be an interesting uh, keyboard to look at. Uh, let's have a look. So on the case, you've got a little window there which lets you try out the keys, which is always good on a keyboard. There, on the box, as we mentioned on the front, you've got a picture and the information there. On the back, shows you all the information. Again, brushed aluminium design, on the fly uh, adjustments of um, settings mechanical switches, RGB backlighting and so forth. Uh, you've also got hassle-free software which you can download uh, and install if you don't want to use on the fly um, controls. Uh, it also gives you a little bit more um, customizability and so forth. So let's open this up, see what we've got inside. Okay. Alright, so as soon as we open it, you've got a nice little plastic cover which has been protecting all the keys apart from obviously the arrow keys which have been used for testing. Uh, let's pull this purple bit out. There we go. So there's the keyboard. As well as the cable, which is there. You've got the manual inside there. And underneath the manual, you've also got your key cap remover, so you can actually take your keys off and swap them with other keys if you wish. Uh, otherwise, that's it. There's no fancy stickers to say this is cool or master or anything. You've got instructions. Bear in mind, it's black and white, uh, and literally it is black with white writing on it. Um, but it should give you most of the information you need on there. Uh, but otherwise, let's just plug the keyboard in see what we have and if it lights up and does what it's supposed to do. So here we go, plug in and there we go straight away you can see and actually I do like it, it is very bright the lights on this uh, some backlit keyboards do look very dull and it does actually shine, I don't know if it's very easy to tell in the actual video but the actual uh, shines very nicely on this brushed aluminium um, the keyboard is quite solid, the bottom is plastic you do have the feet there which is adjustable but not by much, it's either you use it or you don't there is no wrist pad or anything like that um, so otherwise as you can see there it's a pretty nice looking keyboard. Just some of the key features again to go over. Um, it's got brushed aluminium design. It's minimalistic as in you don't have lots of bits all over the place which you don't need. The mechanical blue key switches. It's got RGB as you can pretty well see and it's got easy to use software. It comes with a two year warranty as standard. Okay, so we're looking at the Cooler Master CM310 mouse. 
This again is part of their core series, so this is not the master series, this is the core series which is more aimed for value slash performance, um, but in most cases most people will class it as more of a, a middle of the range um, rather than a real bottom end one because the actual quality and everything is very very good. Um, but uh, here you go, as you can see you've got the box, you've got the picture of the mouse, you've got the logo RGB, uh, as it says there, uh, RGB illumination for flashy looks, it's ergonomic, uh, ambidextrous, uh, shape for all grip types and so forth so and it's got their uh, black and purple box design on the back tells you a bit of the information on there so you've got gaming grain optical sensor apparently it's 10,000 dpi so that is pretty good um, it's got balanced weights it's rubberized size gr side grips uh, RGB again an ergonomic shape so let's take it out of the box and have a look what we've got it would be nice to have a window on the box I would have thought so people could actually see and have a feel like with a plastic mold around it or something I'm not a fan of um, products like these just being in a plain box let's open it up so the basics in there we've got the mouse we've got the manual Again, it's black and white, and literally is black with white writing on, um, so not much to really show off there for the manual. Again, would be nice to have some stickers like you do get with other brands, uh, just to say you're running a, a decent mouse or whatever, or like Cooler Master, where you can stick on the side of your case. Uh, some people like that, some don't, but some people do. So here we go, so there's the mouse itself. So there we go, and just have a feel of it, and actually, that's actually quite a nice feel. It fits my hand near enough perfectly, to be honest with you. Um, feels nice. You've got three central buttons there, I'm guessing for DPI, or um, probably can be programmable as well. The wheel, got a nice texture, texture on the wheel, which is good. The cable is rubber, so it hasn't got the um, braided or anything like that, which is a shame. Um, again you've got a uh, left and right button on the left or should I say back and forward button um, but otherwise that's pretty much it there so let's plug it in let's have a look what it looks like and there we go so here we go it's a bit like a disco show going off there so um, as you can see it looks actually pretty good um, pretty nice um, Looks a bit like something out of Tron, to be honest with you. Um, you can just imagine some, uh, one of these bikers climbing on top of it and riding it. <laughs> but uh, um, it looks pretty good. Um, nice colouring on there, it does definitely stand out. Um, you've got your different switches there for different speed DPI. The different speed DPI does change the colour. So if you want it on high DPI, you have to have it on this whitish look. Um, if you want it on slow, you've got to have it on yellow. So um, obviously in the software you can alter the um, the colouring and stuff. Uh, but it's a shame that obviously if you want really fast DPI and you like purple, you can't have them both together unless you go in the software and alter it. But again, that's only a niggly little thing. Uh, but otherwise, it's pretty nice. Uh, it's look nice to look at. It fits well with their keyboard to do, which is the CK550, um, nearly forgot the model number then, but uh, they actually make a nice pair. The clickiness, it's not very loud, wheel silent, back and forth, it makes a little click but nothing noticeable. Uh, and again, the keyboard itself, that is a, bit, a little bit louder, but they do look nice as a pair. I am very impressed with the CK550 keyboard. It wowed me with the lights and the way they reflect of the brushed aluminium. The feel of the keys was really nice as well. This is a well-built keyboard for gamers that spend countless hours of playing games. I can see the CK550 being able to withstand a lot of hammer. The CM310 mouse is an awesome mouse. It is great both for lefty and righties. It's got adjustable DPI, Colour and light speed were uh, done with ease and great all rounder for entry level to higher end gamers. Here's some of the pros for the keyboard. 
It's basically got on-fly macro recording, on-fly light scheme recording, it's brushed aluminium, it's a high quality build, keys have a nice feel, they're not uh, flimsy, uh, nice attention to detail on the USB connector uh, as it's in purple. The negatives for the keyboard is that the cable was not braided, it was just like a rubber uh, coating and in the future we would like to see uh, detachable palm rests. The positives on the mouse uh, was basically it was comfortable, it was easy to adjust the DPI without lifting your hand, easy to adjust the lighting colours and speeds, uh, attention to detail on the USB connector, and again it's purple, uh, can be used uh, from entry level all the way up to high end gamers. The only real negative for the mouse is that it did not have a braided cable and it was just like a rubbery finish. Otherwise we're extremely happy with both products, uh, they performed very well, the lighting schemes on them were excellent, some really bright colours, vibrant colours on there, um, and because of that we've awarded both products our Platinum Award. If you would like more information about this product you can find more information on our website at www.tech4techs.co.uk Thanks again for watching and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.